Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right. We are going to give yeah, you the carnival celebration, the tips, the tricks, all of the things that we felt like if we were to do this again, we would do things a little differently. Yeah, so man. tip number one is, and we kind of missed a lot of sail away, but that was because that was we, our fault. Yeah, we was we was in the meet and greet with our folk. So we say arrive to sail away early because there are a lot of people at sail away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to bring go go ahead and bring it up so I can show you just in case you guys didn't see it in the vlog. But as you can see, man. That's a Lido deck. <laughs> yeah. So, oh my yes, Lord. please get there early enough so you can get a good spot so you can see. Yeah. I mean, we made it do what it do, but it wasn't like we couldn't get in position to be able to actually like record the way that we usually do and yeah. get the footage that we usually do because so many we, just, we just couldn't fight through the crowd. All right. So tip number two. And this is something that even as a travel agent, sometimes you have to put yourself in the middle of everything so that you can start to get the experience so that you'll know how to do things a little differently for yourself and your client. Right. Is I am that Lido deck girl. Like if you're going to place me anywhere, put me in a balcony on the Lido deck because that's oh, usually dang. centralized to everything is easy to get to everything. Not in this case. Yeah. In this case, the cabin was perfectly positioned only for the things that you would do early morning mm -hmm. or usually late at night. So during the day, we found ourselves having to really like go up, over, we're well, not damn, up, but, but down, damn. over, <laughs> down, over. So the next time what I would do differently is I would do a cabin placement that is still midship, right? but do it midship kind of towards the aft part of the ship because we found ourselves that's where we ended up the most was of course because everything on that ship is on five what is no six seven and eight but most of the things that we did yeah. were like mid aft right. so our cabin placement is mid on the Lido deck but the Lido deck is right. really the mid so anything above that is like really mid um forward if you ask me the ship is huge, so you wouldn't think that that would be a big difference, right? But it's a big walking big difference. difference. Yeah, <laughs> it is a big walking difference. So that is definitely something I would do differently yeah. the next time. All right, and then also while we're still on the same point, um, for those of you who are going with children, we highly recommend the Family Harbor cabins, man. Mm -hmm. And here's why. Because of the Family Harbor Lounge. I'm yes. going to let you explain that. But here's the, I wanted to show you guys a lounge just in case you haven't seen it. Well, the Family Harbor Lounge, when you book a Family Harbor cabin, you have access to this lounge area that they really have dedicated for the families that are on board. So they have things like the game system set up. Um, just like regular board games. But what I really loved about it is in the mornings and in the evenings, they really set up like your own personal buffet just for the people that are in that area of the ship. So if you have young children, you know how that is when you're trying to get them to breakfast and yeah. you're trying to fix plates and people are just being rude because everybody is nasty and hungry. They set that thing up so that they're able to just have that right there it's easy. You're still on your own floor. And then they do it again in the evening. So lunchtime, yeah. doom. And then they have their own ice cream machine. Yeah, Listen, man. And that ice cream tastes just like McDonald's ice cream, man. Uh, the ice cream <laughs> in their area was different. Yeah. And we were like, cuz, cuz, let me in the family lounge. Yeah. <laughs> so that we can get some ice cream. Let's say cuz is benefits. Cuz is benefits. <laughs> All right. The number three. It's dealing with the walking again. We highly recommend you have you some good walking shoes. Everything <laughs> is a walk. <laughs> it was it was to the point that we didn't even really care about the calories that we was eating because we no, know we that were... by the time we got ready to walk, we were gonna <laughs> walk all that skin off. <laughs> Also, we recommend if you got any like knee problems, ankle problems, problems, feet problems, where yeah. you can walk. But after a certain amount of time, you like, I'm, I just can't do it no more. I recommend you getting a scooter. Yeah. Um, because yes, it's yeah. Because yeah. we wanted to, we wanted to walk 
through the whole ship. It's no way. And it, we're we're fine. <laughs> yeah, but we and we did not make it through the whole ship. No, but we didn't. what what happened to me was by 7:30 every night, I was done. <laughs> I was done. I was like, because I'm on the walking. Is this what the mid 40s yeah. feel like? <laughs> yeah. So uh if you thought about getting on your workout plan, do it now before the cruise, because you're gonna need all of it. Yeah. All of it. <laughs> Put your Apple Watch on and do all of that. Yeah. But I've had a couple of questions also when it comes to the scooter, because my aunt, she actually hurt her back yeah. right before the cruise. So she went ahead and rented a scooter to be right there ready for her when we got on the port. And a lot of people like, how do you do that? Visit scootaround.com and they have port delivery and port pickup or port drop off. So as soon as you get there, give them your name, they give you a scooter, you drive it on the ship. Afterwards, you drive it off and you turn it right back in like a rental car. It yep. was that simple. Is it expensive? I think so. But I didn't get it all in her business like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The next step that I would give is, it's kind of twofold. Take it because of this ship and what's going on right now. They are offering two of their restaurants for free of charge that are usually considered specialty dining. Yeah. So take advantage yes. of those restaurants while the getting is good. And it's um, Shebang and um, Cachina del Capitano. The Italian restaurant. The Italian restaurant. So, yeah. and so you don't actually have to do the dining room every night right. as your free option for dining right. when you want to sit down. You can choose and rotate between those three. Yeah. But what I also would say with this is because this ship is so new, they've added some of the restaurants that most people probably have not experienced before because they are, you know, limited to certain ships. Kind of splurge. Yeah. On the specialty restaurants. Yeah. The ones that you I haven't done before, the ones that you know that you won't be able to do on other ships. And experience them. That's what we did. I wish that we had probably pushed and did one more. Yeah. Because they were really good. Like, we did not have a issue at all with those restaurants. And I have yeah. thoroughly enjoyed myself. And, and they were uh, the uh, Rudy Sea Se Grill and um, Bonsai so Tapiaki. I said it right. You did hey, say it right. Hey, all right. The next tip, which is tip number five. And this is what we learned. This is the first time this has ever happened to us on a cruise. Yeah. Is that. We booked specialty dining and our times didn't translate over to the Carnival Hub app. Yeah. So we had to end up going to sale of services, which we hate going because we don't want to stand in that long line. But this A -line. is guest services, wrong yeah. cruise line. I mean, yeah, I said sale of <laughs> services. <laughs> sale of services is virgin. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> but the same thing. Yeah. So, um, and when we went there, they couldn't even find our dining time for the restaurant we were trying to go to. So yeah. we recommend that, especially if you book your, your stuff way in advance, because you ain't going to remember what time you pick. So we recommend you printing off your receipt or take a digital copy and have it in your yeah. phone. Let's have a screenshot. Yeah, so, so, you'll you'll know, know. so you have all your times and stuff for your, so you ain't got to try to fix. So yeah, that cost us a little bit of time. So, it did. And yeah. they actually had to call each restaurant to be like, do you have yeah. a reservation for? Because it wasn't showing anywhere. It was like our reservations did not exist. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, hold on, somebody better run me my money. Yeah, so this is a tip not only we're going to use on Carnival Celebration, but any Carnival ship going forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, the next one is tip number six. And right. boy, did we learn by experience on this <laughs> yes. one. If you are interested, like getting on the boat roller coaster, the, the roller coaster at sea is one of those things that's like a, I did it. I ain't ever got to do it again. I'm never doing it again. <laughs> never. Especially if this one is in control of it. But if you want to do it, one, reserve it early. Yes. Because it sells out. And there were so many people that didn't get an opportunity to get on it. Two, if there is any mechanical problems that's going to happen, it's usually going to happen around yeah. the end of the sailing because the people don't wore it out. Yeah. And that's what happened when we were getting ready to go on it. Was it mechanical problems to the point where we felt like it was going to be unsafe to get on? No, nah, nah. we don't do that. Nah. But they were saying, like, you know, they have to go in and oil them and do different things to them. Right. So it was twice <laughs> that we were trying to get on, and it was like, okay, we got to shut it down for a little while. Boom, we got to shut it down for a little while. And we was like, God, don't. And I was like, the I said, is this you, God? Are you saying not <laughs> to said, get no, on it? The Lord. I said, just you <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a way out. <laughs> but, yeah, um, so, yeah, book that early. And then also, you don't know that 
further as you get out in the sea, the weather might change. That is or true. Or the wind is too much. They ain't running and doing that. Mm -mm. So, yeah. So, the earlier you can get it on it, do it. Yeah. All right. So, the next thing, uh, which will be tip number seven, um, and this pertains to those of you who book balconies. Yeah. Just to let you know, she pitch black. Pitch black. So if you anywhere scared of the dark, we recommend to get you a, a, a little light to go out there. Me, I don't care. Yeah, I didn't care. Yeah, either. I actually like when it's dark, but we know oh, everybody. I, oh, we all know we did. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and we had a caramel. But uh, yeah, get you a light if, if that's a problem. You got a back because it's going to be very. So the only light you're going to see is down in the water. <laughs> That the ship is from your but, cell phone, <laughs> but it ain't gonna be at your back. Yeah, so you can go to Walmart, uh, Walmart, Dollar Tree. They have those little lights that you can just like press on, press off. Little dollar light, something just to have out there that's battery operated. Yep. The next thing, it's it. It feels wrong to even say something like this, but I visited enough cabins on this ship to know that it's pretty universal. Tip number eight. You know how we always say, bring your surge protector, your, well, your uh, non-surge protector, yeah. bring your extension so that you can plug all your devices up. When I tell you they have more than enough outlets yeah. and more than enough USB yeah. ports in this cabin and any other cabin that I visited, and we are YouTubers, we travel with with macbooks we travel with GoPro, all the gopros DJIs, yeah, yeah all yeah. the microphones all of this stuff we had all of our stuff plugged, plugged up. up at one time and never use our search protector not search protector yeah this is the first time ever. so <laughs> you could you can really like if you you press for a little bit of space in your luggage yeah and there's one more thing that you need to take out and put back in you can go ahead and take that out yeah you'll be all right on this cruise tip number nine now, this one I kind of learned by mistake because I had got tired of going to the app trying to figure out what fluid stuff was <laughs> oh, on. where you were. <laughs> so, you, you know, I was trying to remember stuff. So what I did was I just ended up taking a picture of the map um, right by the elevators. And every time, like, Queen, like, what's that called? I went right in my phone, right <laughs> to the map, and blew it up. It's right there. Because I felt like that was quicker than going on the Carnival Hub lap to try to find out to what To do a virtual on. map. Yeah. So, yeah, so when you get there, you see the elevator, try it out. If it works for you, good. If it don't, don't even worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so just, just file it back in the back of your mind. Yeah. The next thing, for all of you all that are of age and cause, and you are considered a legal adult. Yes. I would say even if you're not a person that gets in the pool or anything like that, make sure that you visit the Serenity Deck yeah. at least once yes. the serenity deck is done like no other that i have yeah, seen they did it's that. very nice it's, it very much puts you in the mind of an all-inclusive resort like a little area that they would have on an all-inclusive resort and the one thing that i will say on certain days they open that salad bar up Woo! and if you don't listen to anything else that i yeah, say man. they have a homemade pineapple dressing man listen I'm going to have to they figure to out how to make that. Stove. I'm going to have to figure out how to make it. Yeah. Or because they need to put it in the stove. It's probably, they probably going to mess it up. <laughs> they probably going to mess it up. But it's a good area, good vibes. We never had any trouble getting like a day bed or anywhere yeah. to land. Like nothing. And even if you do, just go on the outskirts and just go around a little bit. It's plenty of places to go. Now, the pool going to be packed now. Oh, she's going to be packed. Packed. And, and if they have not heated it up, it's going to be cold as hell, too. I'm going to let Listen. you know that. But it's going to be hot as hell out there, too. So it's kind of like a catch-22. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, that was insane. I was like, did they just, like, dump ice in here and just let it melt? Because that's how it felt. Yeah, it did. <laughs> but we really, we did enjoy it over there. We, we really did. did. We really did. Tip number 11. Um, and consider this. If you are you a family, y'all like to take risks and be adventurous. Try out for the family feud. So you got to, you definitely going to have to check on a hub to see when that is available. I can't right. tell you when, when the tryouts. Available. Yeah. So you can do the trials to see if you'll be able to make it because just the trials was fun. It was fun. It was yeah. intense though. It is intense. <laughs> yeah. It was intense. So we got, but we couldn't record any of it because um, mm -mm. I think, I think the cruise director said that family feud was new to the ship and family feud had a whole bunch of rules. They like, had a copyright on it. And it yeah, was, it was you a can't lot. record, you can't say certain words and stuff like that. 
But yeah, go ahead and try. We recommend trial. That's gonna be fun for you and your family. Just yeah. even just trying out gonna be yeah, fun. like that's an experience that no yeah. one could ever take from you. That yeah. me and my family at least tried to get on the family feud. It was fun. Yeah. The next thing. Now we have people that are sticklers for set time dining. Like they like to go to dinner in their for the early time slot, or they like to go late at night. They like something that's consistent while they're on vacation. Right. This is the one time that I would tell you kind of break your habit and do the anytime dining. And the reason that I say that is because there is so much going on on this ship at one time that there is a lot of overlap. Yeah. So if you do your set time dining, a lot of times you may not make it to the show that you make that you want to go to because you're still in your dining phase. Yeah. So we learned that too. Like we were like, oh, I want to go to dinner. Then you look at the app and be like, now nah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to the, flip that yeah. a little bit. Like we're gonna have to grab us a guy's burger to hold us over. Yeah. Because so there was that. so and then there are shows that go on at the same time that I'm like, how y- why why y'all making us choose? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like we, we don't want to choose. We want to go to both. Yeah. So and then on the other part of that, I don't know if we're going to talk about this or not. Is it on my list to talk about? Uh, yeah. Since I'm talking about the shows, go to the shows. I'm a person that yeah. do not do a lot of shows. For one, yeah. for me, if you've gone to as many all-inclusives that we've been to, and yeah. so the shows kind of become the same after a while. I will say, yeah, I don't they... know who's in the charge of the yeah. theater department or whatever you want to call it. But they made it so multicultural. They made it so inclusive. They made yeah. it so that one time I walked by and I was like, is this Wakanda forever? Right. I mean, they did. Yeah. It was yeah. so nicely yeah. done. Then you had the celestial strings. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that's not my thing, but I enjoyed but it. It was dope, though. It and was then dope. They, for the children, they had a circus. Like, I didn't stay for the whole thing, but we definitely walked past it a few times. And it I was, was mad I couldn't go to the circus, nice. though. <laughs> yeah, because we had. I think we were going to special dining. We're going to special dining, yep. So go to the shows. Make yes. sure you check those out. All right. The next thing, since we're talking about, oh, you did you do? Oh, you went on and did it. I okay. went on and went. I'm sorry. All right, no problem. No problem. But all right, so the last no, tip, because we still gotta tell them y'all need to get to the shows early. Yes, you definitely, you definitely need to get to the shows early. And I'm gonna show you why, because you're gonna end up right here or even worse. <laughs> and you can see, like, it's kind of tough to see and then when it goes over a little bit to the left and that's the audio booth right there. Right. <laughs> so so yeah so that's why you go early so you can see so i wanted to show you that look they didn't learn from church church put the audio booth, booth in, in the, the back. balcony <laughs> you gotta put the audio booth in the balcony <laughs> so that you don't block nobody's vision all right and the last tip and then we have a bonus right yes we do have a bonus all right and that is if you are a person who love to go to the club we recommend you going very early because the club is definitely a hole in the wall so i wanted to show you out that again so this is the size of the club and i was like compared to how big that ship is they did not give us a lot of space no now so granted, that, it's not a small space but considering the scale yeah, right so <laughs> and it's and it's a limit to amount of people that they let in at one time so you could show up and the line is about 50 to 100 people deep. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we had Terry Crews. What's your name? Your name on the list? You on the guest list? <laughs> I wouldn't even wrote nothing like that. That's how you felt. And the bonus tip, baby. The bonus tip is for you all that love to do your own laundry. When I say yeah. your own laundry, like go to the machines, put your the detergent, all that stuff in because you don't want to take your stuff back home dirty. That's not a thing on this ship. If you want your stuff laundered, you need to go ahead and give it to your room attendant so that they can send it down so that yes. they can do it, which is at a charge, of course. They do have ironing stations, so don't get it twisted. You right. do have opportunities to iron your clothes in certain spaces, but you will not have the opportunity to do self-laundry on these ships, yeah, which is sorry. something that kind of just <laughs> went over my head for a little bit, too, yeah. until we were reminded of it. That some people were a little disappointed that they couldn't do their own laundry. Yeah. 